Hello guys. Here in this video, we are going to discuss about trigonometric ratios of multiple angles. And here in this section, we are going to derive the value of trigonometric ratio sine and cos for the multiple angle 18 degrees. So, let us begin with sine 18. So, in order to derive the formula for sine 18 degrees, let us assume angle A will be equal to 18 degrees and then 5 times of A. That is 5A will be equal to 90 degrees here. That is 5 into 18 will be equal to 90. And now we can write 5A as 2A plus 3A which is equal to 90. And then transferring 3A to the right hand side, we get 2A is equal to 90 degrees minus 3A. And now let us apply the trigonometric ratio sine as we need the value of sine 18 degrees. So here by applying sine on both the sides, we get sine 2a is equal to sine 90 degrees minus 3a. And here this is in the form of sine 2a. And we already know the formula of sine 2a under multiple angles which is equal to 2 sine a cos a. So by using this formula of sine 2a, so here by replacing we get 2 sine a cos a which is equal to sin 90 degrees minus 3a which is in the form of sin 90 minus theta which is equal to cos theta. So here we get cos 3a and here by using the formula of cos 3a which is equal to 4 cos cube a minus 3 into cos a. So let us replace cos 3a with its formula. So by replacing we get here 2 sin a cos a which is equal to 4 into cos cube a minus 3 cos a. And now let us transfer cos a to the right hand side. So we get it 2 sin a which will be equal to 4 cos cube a divided by cos a minus 3 cos a divided by cos a. And here by simplifying cos a cos a gets cancelled and here cos a in the denominator gets cancelled and in the numerator cos cube a becomes cos square a. So that implies we get here 2 sin a which is equal to 4 cos square a minus 3. And now let us replace cos square a in terms of sin a. So in order to replace from the trigonometric identity we can write cos square a is equal to 1 minus sin square a. So by replacing we get here 2 sin a which is equal to 4 into 1 minus sin square a minus 3. And then by multiplying we get here 2 sin a which is equal to 4 into 1 which is 4 minus 4 sin square a minus 3. And now let us transfer all the terms to the left hand side. So by transferring we get here 4 sin square a plus 2 sin a and here 4 minus 3 becomes 1. So we are transferring 1 so it becomes minus 1 here which is equal to 0. And now this is in the form of x squared plus bx plus c. And then let us compare both the equations. So by comparing we get a equal to 4, b equal to 2 and c equal to minus 1. Here x is equal to sin a. And now let us find the value of sin a by using the formula to find the roots of quadratic equation. So here sin a can be found by the formula minus b plus or minus under root b square minus 4ac by 2a. And now let us substitute all the values of a comma b comma c. So here by substituting we get minus b which is minus 2 here plus or minus under root b square. That is 2 square which is 4 minus 4 into ac. So we get 4 into 4 which is 16. 16 into minus 1 will become minus 16. So here minus of minus becomes plus. So we get here plus 16 divided by 2 into a. So we get 2 into the value of a which is 4. So 2 into 4 which is 8 here. So here by simplifying we get minus 2 plus or minus under root 4 plus 16 which is 20 here divided by 8. So that implies we can write this as minus 2 plus or minus root 20 can be written as under root 4 into 5 which will be equal to 2 root 5. So here we get 2 root 5 divided by 8. And then taking 2 as the common factor we get 2 into minus 1 plus or minus root 5 by 8. And here by simplifying 2 1 time is 2 and 2 4 times is 8. So that implies we get here minus 1 plus or minus root 5 by 4 which can also be written as root 5 minus 1 by 4. 
since a lies in first quadrant we can say that sin a is greater than 0 so hence the value of sin 18 will be equal to root 5 minus 1 by 4 and make a note of all these formulas that is sin 2a is equal to 2 sin a cos a and sin 90 degrees minus theta will be equal to cos theta and then coming to the multiple angle 3a so cos 3a will be equal to 4 cos cube a minus 3 cos a and from the trigonometric identity which is cos square a will be equal to 1 minus sin square a and now let us proceed and discuss the value of cos 18 degrees so here by using the trigonometric identity which is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 we can write cos square theta as 1 minus sin square theta so here in order to find the value of cos 18 let us use the trigonometric identity that is cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sin square theta. So let us consider the value for cos square 18. So cos square 18 will be equal to 1 minus sin square 18. So that implies we get here cos 18 is equal to under root 1 minus sin square 18. And here we already know the value of sin 18 which is equal to root 5 minus 1 by 4. So substituting the value of sin 18 here we get under root 1 minus the value of sine 18 whole square which is root 5 minus 1 by 4 whole square and here by simplifying we get under root 1 minus root 5 minus 1 whole square which is in the form of a minus b whole square so here we get a square that is root 5 whole square minus 2 into root 5 into 1 plus 1 square divided by 4 square which is 16 so that implies we get here under root 1 minus root 5 whole square. As square and square root gets cancelled, we get 5 here minus 2 into root 5 which is 2 root 5 plus 1 divided by 16. And here by simplifying, we get under root the LCM which 16 minus 5 minus into minus becomes plus. So we get here plus root 2 root 5 minus into plus becomes minus 1 divided by 16. So that implies we get here under root 16 minus 5 minus 1 which will become 10 here plus 2 root 5 divided by 16. So that implies we can write this as under root 10 plus 2 root 5 divided by square root of 16 which is 4. So this is the value for cos 18 degrees. So hence we derive the value of sine 18 which is root 5 minus 1 by 4 and the value of cos 18 degrees which is under root 10 plus 2 root 5 by 4. So learn these values of trigonometric ratios for the angle 18 degrees. Hope you understood the concept and for more clarity refer to more videos on trigonometry on our website vtchacademy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.